What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to turn any circular saw into a track saw. If you're interested in what I have to say, well you're going to have to stay tuned. All right, let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So the Bora Portimate is near and dear to my heart because it's a $50 tool that turns my regular circular saw into a track saw. If you've done any research on the dedicated track saw systems, they're very pricey. I don't have the money or the need for a dedicated system like that. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me and just need it from time to time, this thing will definitely fit the bill. So just over $50, this is available at Amazon, or on Amazon, or at Menards, and this can be a simple tool that you can use for multiple things, including a straight edge, a fence for your, for your circular saw. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Let's go down to the shop and we're going to cut off a piece of board and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use this thing. Okay, so this Bora clamp mate here is very, very easy to use. Uh, you can slide this, this receiver or this end of the clamp um, to and from just about any spot that you want. Um, it has a uh, basically a mechanism so that when you clamp it tight it stays where it's supposed to and then you have to just pull it one way or the other to get it to move around. So once you push it up against your workpiece underneath it is nice and tight up against it and then you just lock the fence down. So the only thing that you need to worry about with this and making every saw a track saw is knowing the specific distance between the blade and the outer fence or the outer uh, piece of the uh, sliding tray or whatever you want to call it um, and knowing exactly where to cut along the fence. So once you've set up the Bora Portimate and got it on your marks, then you just run your saw right along it. And you just turned every single circular saw into a track saw with just a little bit of know-how and knowing exactly how far your blade needs to be from the fence. Once you figure that out, add it to your measurement and boom, you've made a track saw out of any saw with just over $50. All right, guys, so that wraps up the video. If you've got any questions, concerns, or complaints, put them in the comment section below. Remember to give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you're subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you in the next video.